Hi guys, it's Keith H again from Players of War Airsoft from Scotland. Now another topic that generates a lot of questions quite regularly on the videos are the use of pyrotechnics in the games that you see on your YouTube videos. Now what you're looking at at the moment are a collection of airsoft hand grenades. These are made by a company called TLSFX in the United Kingdom and they fire out dried peas which are biodegradable. So, contrary to popular belief, they don't fire out BBs, they actually fire out dried peas. And the use of these gives you something like a, a 5 meter kill radius when you're playing the games. You're unlikely to feel the dried peas hitting you at the extent of 5 meters. However, Airsoft having the kind of honour system and honesty that it requires to play the sport, if you're within 5 metres of one of these things going off, then unless you're behind hard cover, one of these grenades is a kill. So, one of these goes off within 5 metres, unless you're hiding behind a wall or in a deep ditch or anything like that, then you're dead. Take your hit. So how do the grenades work? Well, the grenades you can see in front of you just now, and there's three of them, I'll just zoom in a little bit closer for you. They have caps on them. Now, the cap comes off, in the grenade itself, as you can see there, the one without the cap, it's roughly the size of a tennis ball. And with the ignition cap off, what you expose is the fuse. Now once the fuse is ignited, and you do that by striking it gently with the striker cap, then the fuse goes down inside the grenade, and once it detonates, the green shell that you can see bursts open and spreads out those dried peas and again, like I said, it's a rough 5 metre kill radius, but you may find with some of them they'll travel a few feet, or some of them might actually spread the odd dried pea out as far as 3, 4, maybe even 5 metres maximum, but it's very unlikely. These are low powered toys basically for the use in airsoft, and people also use them in paintball. So that's the grenade itself. Let's take a little look at the cap that we ignite it with. Now then, the cap sits on top of the grenade, it's held on by glue, so during gameplay you take this out of your pouch, you twist the cap and it breaks away from the grenade itself. Now what you can see on top here is a rough surface, just like the striking material that you get on the side of a, a box of matches, so very similar to emery paper. And you strike that along the top of the fuse and that ignites the grenade itself, and that gives you a rough for five seconds in which to get rid of the grenade, select your target, throw it, otherwise it's going to blow up in your hand. So what we'll do is we'll take the grenades outside and we'll ignite one of them. The last thing I'm going to do is ignite one in the house on the off chance that we do have one that's very powerful and it takes out the lampshades or anything like that. So I'll close the video just now and I'll see you outside. Right, hi guys, so as you can see we're outdoors wrapped up for the winter, Scotland, December time, it's very very cold, part of the world that you belong to might be warm but here it's freezing cold so I won't take too long to do this demonstration now. Over in the background there, I have a pioneer pouch, that's what I normally carry my pyro in when I'm at Players of War in Scotland. It allows you to carry somewhere in the region of about 10 pieces of pyrotechnic, whether it be pea grenades, smoke grenades, extra magazines, that kind of thing, so the grenades are in there at the moment. I'm going to set one of the grenades up, I'll strike it with the striker cap, and then I'm going to retreat to a safe distance, I'll zoom in on the grenade, and then we'll look at the blast itself, and we'll see how far apart the casing on the grenade actually spreads out, and we'll see if we can trace BBs, or, as I said in the video earlier, the dried peas. Some manufacturers do put BBs in their grenades, but these ones made by TLSFX, they are dried peas. So I'll do that just now. So as you can see guys, the explosion itself was quite impressive. 
It's a very loud bang. This is what we call a Mark V P grenade. So it's quite a good report you get from the grenade itself. It's a nice, sharp, crisp bang. So when one of these things goes off and you're close to it, and even if you're at the other end of the playing field, you're going to know about it. It's going to make that good, sharp bang. So what we'll do is we'll take the camera over and we'll have a look at the shell casing itself and also the dried peas, just to let you see what they are and just to convince you that they are peas because a lot of people keep going on about them being BBs. So we'll take the camera over just now for a look. So what you're looking at just now is the actual shell casing itself. That's cardboard and the force of the blast has split that wide open and left it lying almost flat on the ground there. Round about it, let's see if we can find a P for you to look at. Just allow the camera to focus there. Peas themselves are white, there we go. There's one of the peas. So it's white, it's a dried pea, and round about me now are literally dozens of them. Now let's see how far away the blast has actually carried these things. From here, the furthest pea looks to be roughly about... probably about six metres away. So from here... This is the furthest pea that I can see at the moment. And looking back over to where the shell casing is, back over there, roughly about five metres away. So true to its word, five metre spread, however most of the BBs are actually within about three feet of the shell casing itself. So there you go guys, that's how the TLSFX hand grenades actually work and that's what you're watching on videos from myself and the likes of Scout the Dog as well. So thanks again for watching folks, please rate the video and if you want to leave any comments at the bottom of the page feel free to do so and keep subscribing guys, your support is very much appreciated, thanks very much.